hi and a very very warm good evening good afternoon or good morning as per the time refers to my name is Annie M Kidwai and you're watching Vertex the solution of every need how is everyone and how is everyone doing I hope you are liking us and subscribing to our YouTube channel to know more about me visit my website or you can also email me my uh, contact details are available in the description box below of this video ladies and gentlemen what is the topic of today that I've chosen to speak on to recently I've been posting videos on psychology understanding of psychology understanding of human behavior human mindset today's video is also relevant with the same ladies and gentlemen today I'm going to speak to you on to again the part two of personality development and uh, talking on to one special and important subject in a topic that is often uh, you know ignored or is not taken seriously for personality development which I'm going to really focus on to and through this medium I'm going to reach out as many individuals, peoples, group, parents, children, adults, as many as I can. So I can make a difference, a positive change in the society through my knowledge and bring positivity in their personality so that they can also feel happy. Ladies and gentlemen, when we talk about personality development, we must know what a personality is. If I'll go into the technicalities of personality, uh, you know, the technical definition, it's little difficult for everyone to relate. So I am speaking or communicating in a way that everyone can relate to me. A language should be communicated in that way that everyone can understand what you are trying to say. This is the objective of language. So I'm going to speak to you in a very simple way that everyone can relate to me. What I would like to share with all of you. You're, I'm open with feedback. If you want to share any kind of feedback, please uh, drop in in the comment section below. If there is any error, I'll definitely try to improve myself. So uh, I wanted to speak to you on esteem, self-esteem. Ladies and gentlemen, when we talk about personality, personality is not a thing, is not a trait or a characteristic that develops in a day or a two. When a baby is born and he or she starts sensing from that day, it keeps on, you know, developing. Those are the developing stages of an individual's personality. So the parents and especially the teachers and educators play a significant role in the lives of an individual. You know, you must have heard the statements, the... Uh, you know, mother like daughter, father like son. Why do they say such statements? You know, you must have heard from your aunts and your uncles and your grandmothers and your grandfathers. They keep on saying this. Why do they say this? Because, for example, if you are, if you are a violent individual, you are an abusive individual, your children will also follow the same. So you are responsible for, the, for your action because in front of the children, they are going to mimic it. When they are very young, they don't know what is right or what is wrong with them. They feel like if you are doing anything wrong, as, wrong also, it's right for them because you are idle for them. Whether you are his or her parent or his teacher, the principal of a school or anyone. So ladies and gentlemen, it's very important that we must weigh ourselves where do we stand. 
are we making our coming generation our coming children submissive people's pleaser are we trying to dominate them that much that there is no individual decision making thinking or their personality exist or are we trying to uh, you know make them so dominant that they become violent and abusive so are we ourselves balanced individuals are we mentally healthy ourselves that we are creating a mentally healthy society you know are we happy or we are depressed so if you are feeling uh, you know some emotional um uh, conflict with yourself definitely it will create an impact on the children as well so it's important it's very important that what actions we perform and the way we behave it is creating an impact in our homes and it is creating an impact in the society as a whole so if a crime happens in your country somewhere you are responsible for it so how we can you know may not be directly but somewhere how how we are responsible for it because of our code of conduct because of our behavior don't you think so at times when people gets into depression when people uh, feel low in their life the people who are surrounded to them needs to help that individual not to you know laugh at them at the uh, low time or weak time so why this happen why why the, uh, these things are happening around us or in the society because of low self esteem and lot of insecurity in people's personality if you are strong mentally strong emotionally strong you are kind you are generous and you are able to help the person in need rather to laugh on laugh at them or bully them it's important to understand the difference of positive and the negative so how we can do that parents teachers educators play a significant role in developing personality from childhood but what we do now we need to understand that and this is what i am going to talk on to today ladies and gentlemen self esteem is just not a trait or a characteristic self esteem is a need there was one american psychologist named abraham maslow who discovered a pyramidal need uh, of human called as maslow's hierarchy of need where you will find it is in a shape of a pyramid and there are different needs on each level the base level is of the physiological need then comes other needs and there is one more stage where it is mentioned as esteem so that is your self esteem it is a need to give respect to get respect it's a need it's not a quality when somebody tries to vandalize it or you become victimized victimized uh by someone someone victimizes you sorry the need of esteem is not met hence your human need is not met so humans are designed in that way that 
they require trust, they require love and affection, they re require emotional trust, emotional balance. So that they perform, they can perform their tasks positively. And this is all based on human personality. When your personality is positive, you are a positive individual. But when you perform negative actions, for example, hurting someone or bullying someone, putting others down, you know, there is one important thing I like to mention here. If you are strong, you bring the weak people up. No matter they are below than you, they are at the equal level or they are more uh, at higher level than you. If you are strong, you don't have any insecurities in you. But if you try to bring people down, if you try to insult people, if you try to become arrogant in yourself, in your existence, you are an insecure individual. Arrogance is the first, um, you know, I would say, um, denotion of insecurity. So people who are arrogant in uh, by nature are insecure in themselves. When you are humble, when you are down to earth, when you are generous, when you are kind, when you are respectful, you are a confident individual. The confident individuals never tries to put other people down or bully them. They are not people's pleaser. People's pleaser are those people who lack confidence who are insecure by nature. So they wish to accompany or achieve something not on the basis of their qualifications or on the basis of their skills or they believe that we are worthy enough to get this achievement in our life. So they try to find certain means of people pleasing so that they can achieve what they want but somewhere during the whole process they are affecting one individual the most that is themselves they are ruining their own individuality their own identity their own personality their own psychology in the process they're, you know, ruining the decision-making power of choosing the right and the wrong and get controlled by other people and losing self-respect in their own eyes and in fact in other people's eyes as well, losing their respect because of this nature. So people who are listening to me, it's important to develop your own decision-making power. It's important to develop your own individual thinking. Don't, do not become people's pleaser if you would like to build your self-esteem. Now how the self-esteem can be formed? Maslow says, when you have achievements in your life, when you achieve a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, success in your life, your confidence is built, you get a lot of respect from people, society starts respecting you, so you have high, you get to uh, have high self-esteem. Now, it's important to understand here that what are the achievements? Suppose, for example, if I am going on a diet today and I loss 5 kgs weight in a month, it is a big achievement for me. I have gained 
good health. So this is how I have achieved something in life. I worked very hard for my examinations. There was cutthroat competition. There was all sort, uh, all, uh, sort of uh, other choices to get ahead of others. But I chose the hard way to succeed in life because I don't wish to compromise on my dignity, on my self-respect and my individuality and, an my, and my own identity. And then only I've achieved the best uh, scores in my examination. I've built my strong morale and principles. So I built self-esteem. Hence, I have built my confidence. So, the point of saying all these through the examples is that that self-esteem is important and there is a way to build your confidence by working on your self-esteem. I hope I'm making myself understood to you. So, ladies and gentlemen, choosing right working the hard way and not compromise on the ethics and the principles and your values. Not by becoming rigid. You should be flexible to change. If you become rigid to change, your growth will also be rigid. So if you want to grow in life, you have to be flexible in the approach, but in the right way. Not compromising on the things which you don't like. And this way you are building self-respect, self-esteem, hence your confidence. When you are happy from inside, you look happy from outside as well. So this is my uh, topic of today to speak on to self-esteem. I hope through my videos, I'll bring some positive change in the lives of my viewers and I am very, very thankful to all of you who are subscribing to my channel, who are giving likes to my videos. Thank you very, very much from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate your time, your presence in my life, whether it's online on YouTube only, but I really, really respect that. Thank you so very much. I thank to all my children and to the parents and uh, people who got associated with me for the trainings, for the classes. I am really thankful to all of you. I hope I'll never put you down uh, and I'll never, you know, uh, break your trust that you have shown in me and my team. Thank you so very much. To know more Keep subscribing and keep watching and liking my videos. If you like what I do, please share it with your family and friends. I'll be uploading more on confidence building, personality development building, self-esteem and more on to psychology as well as other subjects. Keep watching me, keep subscribing and stay in touch. Have a great day. Bye-bye.